Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So today we're gonna to be doing a shaker similar to this one, um, except it's for my brother. It's for his celebration of life. And you know, my brother always, um, I think he got a kick out of my crafts and I've done some cake toppers for him in the past. So I wanted to do, you know, just something for my daughter to hold, for me to hold, something to put in, in with him. Um, I haven't done very many memorial type things. Actually, I've done none up until now. And I realized that you guys probably need it, right? Like it happens and um, if you're doing it for someone close to you, it's a little therapeutic. If you're doing it for orders, other people need it. So I'm gonna keep that in mind and I'm gonna just um, try to make it through it. So, all right. So the opposite of this one, unfortunately, so it's not gonna be like pink and babyish. We're gonna do one that's like kind of fancy. And I, you know, I feel like we could use this, we can kind of switch the theme a little bit and easily transition it for something like a dirty 30 or a, a flirty 30, 40, dirty, well, I don't know, whatever, for an older birthday party, right? That's more glamorous or even like a bridal shower, that kind of thing. Cause I went with, my brother was very much uh, loved his name brands so I got a kick out of doing like little Dior stuff and Louis Vuitton like confetti um, so I went with really beautiful black silver gray paper so let's talk about some of these look at this one this one has like a little sheen to it it's got um, like a checkered pattern but it's all black so you can see it's just like expensive looking <laughs> this one is a sort of like it's thick paper it's just um almost like gunmetal ish right and then this one is actually gunmetal foil and it's definitely like just gorgeous and we're gonna use some black glitter cardstock the confetti that i missed that i mixed is really fun as well i wanted the sound so there's some pearl beads in here um, but a lot of, you know, just like silver, you can't really even see the black. I didn't want it to be so dark, but I went with dark, um, you know, like it's so blingy. I love it. Um, it, this is the mix that I did. It's crazy. But I, you know, I feel like this is the easiest part. You just get a bunch of different things and it will look good. Um, so you can see this is just like confetti from Michael's. This one is really cool because they're like mini beads in all different colors. They're like tiny, tiny, they're almost like BB gun um, pellets, but like a million times smaller. So, and all these different like jewel tones and stuff. Um, same thing with this. This is more of like, I don't know, like the sequins. Um, uh, yeah, sequins. <laughs> um, but smaller and in the different colors. And then the actual pearls are from Dollar Tree. And this, I don't know, this just makes noise. So I kind of wanted things to move. All right. Holy. Ah! I shook this around and it wasn't totally closed. I have all these little pellets all over my, all over my thing now. <laughs> okay. So I, you know, again, I still love using HTV. And the reason being is I'm going to show you how delicate this little thing is. So this is my brother's name. And if you look at the little swoosh that goes with the H, it is thin and then also like that little in the loop of the k it is tiny and i feel like there's no way i could have cut this on paper um at least not like you know the 10 times that i would want to right maybe one time but it is just gorgeous and then i um just use htv so htv cut perfectly oh man this thing is gonna drive me insane um oh it's so tiny too um, okay, those are just lost, but anyway, um, let's do the HTV. I'm only gonna do one, but I did the HTV for this as well. So the word love, I you know just got it in there, and it's on the beautiful gunmetal foil. So it's just like I went with that whole black on black, silver on silver kind of thing, just for like a more like high end look. So, all right, if you're using HTV, I definitely love my poly tape. I'm not going to lie. And that's because the reason is 
you only it only needs a few seconds to press so I'm gonna show you like this one right we all know that it can cut well and it weeds well um, I have a reel for weeding it too so it was like super easy so let a few seconds and then I can peel this off. It's on my paper, but I'm always a little paranoid because when you're pulling off that transfer sheet, it's a little sticky. So it's kind of like, um, there's a little bit of pressure, like kind of like pulling away from it. So I want to just heat it down one last time to make sure that it's all anchored down to my paper. And just a few seconds and we are good. Okay, so that's how you make all of these. These are all HTV on um, cardstock. And I do prefer using when I do iron on HTV to um, to cardstock. I like my heavier cardstock. Um, I feel like it holds up in the heat well. And if you're using HTV, it's already not. I mean, it's just a little bit more expensive, right? Like if you really broke it down. But you might as well use the right kind of paper for it. Okay, that's all. All right, let's start layering. And of course, okay. Here's my foam tape. I want to layer the name a couple times. So I'm gonna do it so that it really stands out. And the reason being is that when I put the confetti in here, so it's gonna be like this, I want the name to always be visible. And I'm doing a couple different ones. So today, I don't know which one I'm recording. <laughs> we'll, we'll make up our minds in a few minutes. I think what I wanna do is the name really stacked high and then just using the glitter mix that I just did, okay? Another one that I wanna do is I wanna do a bunch of these confetti items that I made myself of just the name brand, and so I want one that does that. Um, and then there's another one that I'm not really sure. I cut for everything, but we'll just see. But we're only gonna make one right now because it's the same theory, same process to make the, to make the shakers. So what you wanna do is you wanna start layering this thing. So I'm gonna use my foam tape. And I'm probably gonna just do three so that I can really push down on the thing. It adheres to everything and um, it's just stable. So um, with my three, I'm still really paranoid. So what I do is I use my glue gun. So on top of the foam tape, foam tape I'm also going to make sure that nothing is moving around. So I'm gonna do this. I know, it's a little bit like overkill, but just to make sure. Then I'm just gonna layer this on top. And I'm pushing down to make sure that everything is good. And it's good, see? My little glue got out though a little bit. I'm just gonna clean it up. It's always easier to clean up your glue strings, like from your hot glue gun, before you apply it to whatever, because then, especially like in the little dome, right? Um, it's gonna be hard to get that out. Now, I'm not too worried because there's gonna be a ton of confetti in there, so you're not even gonna see it, but look at, I mean, the name is so pretty. Look how small that is. I mean, it's delicate. I really, really love this um, HTV um, little dealy. Okay, I'm gonna take these now and I'm gonna put on the back I'm gonna do my foam tape again, and we're just gonna layer this a few times because like I said, I really want the name to pop up like in that dome, um, and yeah. Uh, let's talk about the dome. So the dome is from Amazon. It's just over, a little over three inches, okay? So I have both domes listed because I've used them for different things. Um, this is technically an ornament, right? I don't have the other end, but it would go like this. So this would be like a Christmas ornament that you would hang. But because you can actually open it, you can make fun things like this. And this is the same dome that I use for my Pringles. So it's on my Amazon um, under Pringles. And then also, I believe I have a new category for shakers, but I could be wrong. Okay, um, let's just continue layering. And if you're new to my page, I did just launch my website. So you can go on there and I, going forward. So I did go back and did my like, um, my favorite projects, but going forward, every project is gonna have the YouTube link, the materials link, um, and a ton of pictures and just everything. So it's like 
the 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 hub to go get all the details all right so one more let's see and this is um i've only done this a few times but i really like these shaker wands they're they're just the right size so it's an easy project to do there are just a few things that you're cutting so you can actually like whip this out and um finish it in a short amount of time because i feel like most crafts take forever all right so i'm going to put this last one on here so you see how like it's getting thick and then i'm going to put one more on here and it's going to be like super super thick and then it's going to sit in the dome like that oh and it fits perfectly so i think i'm gonna do one right here glue it all together and then maybe even do on the last one so it's really sticking up okay okay and then once my glue stick runs out i am trying a new glue brand of for the glue sticks because the I'm not sure which one I'm using right now. I love my glue gun, but it used to not run um, or leak, however you want to call it. And it has been lately. So I am desperate now to find the right glue stick brand. All right, look at how beautiful this is. I absolutely love it. Okay, so when we stick it in here, for instance, you can see like it will stand out um okay this little ornament um dealie i need a pair of scissors here it is you can just take a regular pair of scissors and cut off this little ornament tab and okay i don't worry about this being sharp because it's actually it's not going to be um out in the open it's going to be covered so okay we've got that let's put one layer of glue or a foam tape here and then we're going to glue this sucker down to the bot the inside of our topper okay so this one i really want to make sure that i glue down well Ooh, and my glue gun is running out so i have the new gorilla stick okay now we can't say that because it's just in right now, but it's not, you know, we're not using it yet. So let's not rush to judge, but know that it's coming. And I want to make sure this thing doesn't go anywhere. All right, so let's put this down. We want to put it in the middle because we don't want it to get in the way of the dome. So there is that. And then we're going to put this over like this. But before we close it up, before we close it up, we want to make sure that we put our confetti in, right? So you want to put it upside down like this, and we're going to pour our confetti in. So here's our mix. Now, the few times that I've done this, I've always had to double check to see how much confetti I'm putting in to not overwhelm the whole thing. And I know it's so hard to tell. So let's look at this. This is, let me see if I can turn it over without spilling it. Okay, so let's try this. Now this back thing, it is just slightly bigger than our ornament bulb, okay? And it's purposely done that way. And you always want to use kind of thicker paper because you want to be able to flip this over and not lose your, oh, that's perfect. I'm going to put a little bit more confetti in. Just a little bit. Okay, so that's enough for me. Um, I'm going to flip this over. And I'm going to do it where I'm going to line up where we cut this down here. Not that it matters. I'm just being picky. Okay, so this is completely covered. I'm going to flip it over this way and I'm going to start to glue it on the edge. Okay, so I'm going to take my glue gun. And the way this is designed, we're going to cover up all our imperfections. So you don't have to worry about that either. So we just need to make sure that we seal this up and don't burn your hand. So just, you know, 
make your way around it. Now, if you've ever gotten a glue gun burn, it is hot like a mofo and it hurts so bad. Um, but amazingly, Neosporin, you put it on and it will, um, it will feel better same day. So as soon as it happens, run cold water on your finger until you don't feel, you know, until like you've cooled down the burn and then go put Neosporin on it. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry for just a second, but I'm gonna flip it over. And this is actually, I think this would be great for a New Year's party too. So you would put the year in there, like 2022. <laughs> and um or for a graduation this is really it's like a disco ball it's really pretty i'm super happy with this all right so we want to make sure that everything is sealed in and it looks like it's totally sealed in okay so let's put this down for now let's work on everything else okay so this is the offset to this Oh, actually, no, it's the same size. So what we can do is, I think this is thick enough. Let's put our foam tape all the way around. We want everything to be popping up and not so flat. And of course, like having the dome helps as well. But I just, um, I just really liked, like my layered look. Um, and, you know, my fancy paper. Okay, so let's do that. Same thing with this though, I don't want anything falling apart. So I will make sure to add a little bit of the glue gun onto this as well. And then the stick, I'm going, you know, I'm making this really, really special. Um, I have a wooden dowel, so I'm gonna cover that up in black satin, um, ribbon so that the whole thing looks really really nice okay so let's go and just wherever there's a glue dot or foam tape I'm losing my mind I just want to make sure that this sucker is not going anywhere okay I'm gonna flip this over oh my gosh I feel like I'm gonna burn myself okay this lines up so there okay and you can see oh maybe you can't see this is just um the glue webbing so just pull it off it does not ruin the paper at all but what you don't want to do is get like water so It is down really well. I think what I want to do, just to make sure, I'm going to go in between here where it's really thick because of the word, and I'm going to just put a little bit more glue to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. Okay. All right, that is so pretty. Okay. This is going to go down like here. Um, this little piece is going over the dome and it's going to sit on top of the dome to hide all of our glue from the dome. So, you know, it's all designed to be, you know, just like totally perfect. <laughs> all right, let's look at this and make sure I feel like it's totally sealed. Um, with the word love um, sticking up, I'm going to want to um, get this standing up as well. So I'm going to use a little bit of foam to 
foam tape, but I'm going to use a roll because I want it to stand up like this. So I'm going to put this down. And I'm gonna put another layer. I'm gonna put three layers actually to make sure that it sits higher than the word love. Okay. So I'm gonna put it down and I wanna center it. So I'm put it down and I'm going to get my glue gun in there to make sure that it's really in there. We love it we love it right okay so this goes down and what I've been using for this to keep this in place is um, I'm gonna pick this up for a second what you want to do is you want to grab like tweezers so give me one second to grab mine and I just want to make sure that I get all of my glue stuff out because once I put start putting things down it's gonna be really hard for my fingers to get in there Um, so yeah, this one I've been putting um, the glue dot all the way at the bottom, like underneath to keep it in place. You can also kind of glue it in place as well. But let's, this is it. Then all you do is you put your wooden dowel and then you're done. So here is my dowel. Let me show you my other one now that we have both of these here. So you can see, gosh, it's like a totally different style, right? Just depending on the color. This one has hearts all the way around. This is... Um, just, you know, a circle. Um, so many different things that you can do with it. I have another one that's coming up that in my head I've designed, but I haven't quite done it yet. Um, it's gonna be a water theme and it's gonna go on a birthday present. So you can imagine it's not gonna be like this. It's not gonna be like this either. It's gonna be a blue theme. So I love the idea of being able to show you all these, all these different ones. All right, so we've got this down. Let's talk about the ribbon. So I have my ribbon here. And we don't have to cover the whole stick, but I am. So I'm just gonna put glue and start wrapping it down, okay? So, I put a little bit of glue just to get started. And this isn't gonna show, so this is just to kind of like, keep it intact okay so every few twirls I'm gonna put just a little bit of glue down so that it can't unravel and if and it won't one it won't unravel and then also oh my god what did I just do okay it won't unravel and it won't loosen up either so I'm gonna go a few and then and I'm going to keep one at home in my art room just to always remember and I'm gonna have my daughter hold one, and then we're gonna have one that goes in his casket. So, I'm gonna make three. They might be three different ones. I haven't quite made up my mind yet because we didn't even use the, 
the labels. I think the labels I'm gonna put in his because that would make him laugh. Okay. And then at the end, we'll roll it a little bit differently. Almost at the end. I did order because you know we did um, these are straws right here. I did order black ones in that style so I think that would be cute too for like Halloween. Um, for New Year's you can use the gold one as well so it's gonna serve a lot of purpose. Okay, we're almost at the end. So I'm sort of trying to get it so that it is now perpendicular to the straw or to the dowel. Okay, I'm struggling. <laughs> All right, let me cut this real quick. Um, the other thing is you wanna cut with a really sharp rib, uh, pair of scissors. So I'm gonna cut it right now. And then I also want to, while we're here, I'm gonna get a lighter and I'm gonna burn the edges so that it doesn't unravel on us, okay? Okay. And I always joke, one day I'm gonna burn down my art room because I'm doing that. But all right, so we've got the end of our ribbon. I'm just going to twist this a little bit more. Let's see, how do I wanna do this? I'm gonna get it all the way to the end, right here. I'm gonna add a little bit more glue. I'm gonna put a little bit more glue. I think I have too much string, but I'll leave it for now. I haven't decided how I wanna do that just yet. So, but look at how pretty our stick is. Now what you wanna do is, so, oh, I should have put love to the side. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> it would have, I think, just style wise, it would look better. It's totally fine, right? Because it doesn't matter. But all right, so um, let's get the glue dot for that. And I'm gonna turn off my heat prize. So I was using these, these um, permanent dots. So it's gonna keep the thing in place. So all I do is I kind of like roll it up in my fingers and then I'll put it down here and then push this one down. I'll put another one on this side. You could even glue it if you want to. I haven't, I mean, this has worked so far, so I haven't had a reason to experiment further. But I think this time, because I'm doing three, I'm gonna try a few different things. Okay. All right, so I've got that down. So here is King. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line this up this way, okay? And then I'm gonna stick some glue here. And I wanna make sure that my stick, because if you look at this, it's almost five inches. So I wanna be right in the middle at the, 
at this line right here and go straight down and that's gonna make my dowel straight, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on my stick I'm gonna lift this up and put my thing down. And I'm just gonna hold it to let it dry for a second. And then I'll flip it over and I'll glue down the rest of it. The other thing I forgot to do is I would want a backing to this so you can, um, you can either go with like this background or you can just flip this one over, mirror that image, and then, you know, do a full one so that it's completely covered, which I would recommend because the ribbon up here, right? All right, so this is totally down. And you know what? The Gorilla Glue, so I'm gonna show you this really quickly. This was the glue that was in here before Look at all that dripping and look at Gorilla Glue. Nothing is coming down right now. Oh, I, I'll have to look up to see who recommended that, but oh my gosh, she's golden. Um, I'm a fan, I can tell, it's already good. Um, okay, so that's all I have for you. Let's see if this is ready. It's still a little bit, but I love it. Okay. Uh, let me know if you have comments, questions, if you want to see a certain theme, a new request, whatever it is. Thank you so much for following. And I just, um, I really appreciate your patience through this time as I'm kind of like a little bit of a hot mess. <laughs> so, all right. I'll see you guys later. Bye.